Everything you said, they already knew, more or less. Well, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those special atomic bombs haven't gone off. Hey friends, today I am at Coronado Springs and I'm here because I've been anticipating the opening of Three Bridges for a very long time and this is the first chance that I've been able to get out here and check it out for myself but I've been waiting for this place to open up forever. I always thought it would be a beautiful location for a nice chill out relaxed bar. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take in some of the beautiful sights and maybe a beer or two. So let's go do this. And you can see the Grand Destino Tower right there looking very beautiful. I hear it looks absolutely stunning at night because they light it up. Maybe we'll get to see that, but I don't know because that looks like it's going to rain. And it looks like it's going to rain pretty hard. Finally, I'm going to be able to actually walk across this bridge and into this beautiful water. Such great views at Coronado Springs. Look at the pool area over there. That's one of my favorite pool areas. Such a great water slide. And nothing goes well or goes better than a water view with the beer. That's how I feel. I appreciate how they have this little like resting area right here with some benches midway in the bridge itself because that's a pretty long bridge. Look at that. And there's three of them. <laughs> Eh, maybe that's why they call it Three Bridges. Ooh, I'm liking the music too. You hear that? Boom, 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 boom. Do, 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 do. This is so cool. Honestly, it's crazy that they never had this here before. Because you figure it would be a great way to actually get around the resort instead of walking in big circles. Now you can just cut from one side and walk straight across. Very smart. Very nice. And what is this sorcery here? It's like they got a little floating garden with some windmills. Very fancy. Where do those babies go? Before we actually sit down at the bar, I might as well explain to you because it is a little tricky, but you notice on the outside it says Villa de Lago. Uh, but it's actually called Three Bridges on Villa de Lago because Villa de Lago is actually this whole entire lagoon. So it may say Villa de Lago, but it is Three Bridges on the Villa de Lago. And would you just look at the views? I mean, I know the sky looks pretty nasty, but this is really relaxing. I like it a lot. I'm not going to be getting anything to eat. I just wanted to come here and see what the atmosphere was like itself. Because I always thought, like I said, it was going to be a cool, chill out, relaxed spot. So I'll pull up a seat next to the bar, take a look at the menu, no reservation needed, and uh, enjoy. Here is the bar area itself. Look at these chairs. Oh, lots of padding, lots of cushion. Ah, I bet you I'm going to like them a lot. Look at the menu. You see right there, Three Bridges Bar and Grill at Villa del Lago. And we got a nice collection of sangria. Some specialty cocktails. Ooh, that sherry cobbler sounds pretty interesting. And then of course you got your draft beers, your wines, and hot and cold beverages. Very interesting. I like it. They do actually have food offerings. I hear the fried shrimp corn dogs are pretty banging. And then of course the burger right there, Three Bridges Signature Burger. I hear that's the thing to go for. $16, that's not too bad for a uh, burger on Disney property, but it looks pretty good overall. Uh-oh, the thunder. 
It is really nicely themed in here. Very neat. I don't know how to express my artistic sign. So they have these nets right here that are kind of like blocking the view itself, but they're not normally down. They put it down some days to keep the sun out and to keep it a little cold inside here because it is an open bar. So it is an open layout, no walls, but they have very nice little seating. So when these are actually up and you can look through, a nice place is to hop right here and just stare out at the water. What is this sorcery here? It's like fake fire. I'm pretty sure that's just smoke with lighting, but it's pretty cool. Look at that. I don't know if it's fake or not. It just looks fake, but I guess I gotta touch it to find out. Oh. <laughs> it's fake. It's fake, but it's pretty cool. Look at these little lounge areas they got here too. This is pretty nifty. I gotta check out the chairs. Let me get it. Okay, the chairs are very soft and relaxing. I like them a lot. Very nice. Pretty fancy little coffee tables they got here too. Ooh, that's not real, but it looks cool. These bartenders are probably looking at me like I'm nuts. I'm hopping from like one spot to another and just sitting down. I just, I just want to test out the different seating areas. I like that. I, I feel like that says a lot. Like, look at this little couch area over here. Well, 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 don't mind if I do. It's very comfortable, but if you guys notice, I did not let my shoes touch the cushions. My mother raised me right. One thing I really like about these bar stools, because if you were a short person and you want to, you know, look taller than normal you just take one off and you put it on here and your height substantially grows see 100 people waiting out inside the door seriously such a great time hanging out in there what a great lounge it might be one of my new favorites i wish that i could stay until nighttime but like I said, I don't know what's happening and it looks like the storm clouds just keep on brewing. Well, here's a little sadness. The Laguna Bar is not open and I don't know if they plan to keep this closed and maybe open it when there's a convention in town, but this used to be my favorite bar before that bar opened up to hang out at a Coronado Springs because it's on the water. So maybe, I don't know. Here's a good map to more understand how important this little area is. Look at this. If you were, like I'm standing right here and this is the main check-in area. So if you ended up staying over here and you wanted to come to the food court, you'd have to like walk all the way around and all the way over here. That is a hike. Of course, they still have some amazing classics like Cafe Rick's. And then of course, Rich Sports Bar and Grill. Then they have the Maya. A lot of good eateries and bars and places you can hang out with. That's why I like Coronado Springs. It's a very big resort. But one of my favorite things to do is when there's no conventions around, I like to go in the convention center and just run amok. Because it's just like wide open spaces, lots of cool carpeting. I don't know, I like it a lot. It also smells very nice in the convention area. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the air fresheners. Kind of reminds me of The Shining a little bit. Look at this. You get the whole place to yourself almost. Wow. Saloon L. Saloon K. And I'm gonna guess that's Saloon J. Wow, the silence in here is pretty amazing. It's like everything's zoned out. Now it's not normally like this when there's a convention going on. Have any of you guys ever been here for a convention? Wow, look at that. My mustache is really growing in. Oh, look at this, a little charging station. Huh, oh, very cute. You are not the droid we're looking for. I just stumbled on to 
the preview center and it's a little strange it's got this TV these two king chairs and then a little layout of what Coronado Springs is ultimately gonna become look at that huge this is such a gigantic resort this looks like a park oh look at you're gonna give us an aerial deal there's the Grand Destino there's three bridges look at this this is pretty fancy and the water's green that's good I like to keep it real I wonder if I can go in this door oh nope okay sorry well okay we made it all the way to the other end of the convention center now it's time to run back <laughs> absolutely ludicrous it felt like the right thing to do at the moment though so no complaints I had fun running and now I think that's gonna do it for me had a lot of fun hanging out here very cool resort a bus just pulled up so the audio might go a little bit soft and love the life you live we'll see you next time bye and hopefully once the Grand Destino opens I'll be able to check that beauty out because that's gonna be an amazing view from the top.